All right, so in this video, we're going to be setting up Tutor LMS. Let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so over here now, I need to go to plugins, click on add new, and now I can search for my plugin over here. I'm gonna hit enter. And this is the first plugin. And as you can see, it has over 20,000 active downloads. And also the reviews here are looking really, really good. All right, so next I need to click here on install now. I'm gonna hit activate. All right, so now that Tutor LMS has been installed, let's take a look and see what features we have and how uh, we can set it up quickly. So over here, we have this entry called Tutor LMS. So we can go straight down here to settings. All right, so now we're on the general tab. So over here, you can enable and disable quite a lot of things. So by default here, I'm just gonna leave everything as it is because uh, it's gonna work really fine out of the box. Now, there's something that I want you to take a look here and this is the YouTube player. So you can also uh, specify what players you need here. So we have Vimeo and YouTube. So if you want to host your lessons with Vimeo, this is a more professional uh, player and you have a lot more options to brand it. Now, if you do it on YouTube, there's very li limited uh, things that you can do there because their player is basically what you see is what you get. You can't really make any changes to it. So it's up to you how you want to do it. But the advantages that uh, Tutor Elements has is when you add your YouTube video, it doesn't really show all the YouTube branding. And I'll show you this as we progress with the course. All right, so pretty much this is where you have all your settings for Tutor LMS. And over here, you also have settings for the course. You can also enable the Gutenberg editor here. This will give you more to work with because you'll be using the blocks. So I'm gonna enable this here. And also I'm gonna come over here and this is where you can select your course archive page. Now, remember, we created that page called All Courses, and this is where we need to select it now. So here we go. So this is the courses page. So this is going to show all our courses on that page. So this is where you set it up. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to scroll down here. Now, there's also an option to filter your courses. So you can show this, and but you know, for now, we're just going to show one course. Okay, so moving on. We can also display the instructor's information. This may be a good thing for your website, but it's up to you how you want to set it up. We also have question and answer here. Now, this will be good because you want to make it easy for all your students to ask you questions and for you to even respond to those questions. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Okay, so moving on here, there's quite a few as well that you can uh, choose from, but those are the ones that I use. Next, I am going to uh, change my default video source here to YouTube because this is what I'll be using for this demo. But of course, you can always choose this as you're building your, your course. Uh, save settings. Next, I'm going to come over here to lessons. And again, you can enable the classic editor if you wanted to here, but I'm going to leave this as it is. Okay, so you also have the quiz settings here. You can limit your time in minutes and so on. But again, we're not going to focus on this. The tab that I really want to come back to here is going to be the WooCommerce tab because I'm going to show you how to set all this up and uh, make sure you collect payments when people are buying your courses. Next, I'm going to come over here to style because this is something that you may want to play around with to just make sure you brand your website. And again, I'll be taking a look at this later on. All right, so I'm going to hit save settings now. So basically, this is where all the settings are. And this is where you can always come to if you want to make any changes. Now, there's also other links here where if you want to uh, go to announcements here, you can add announcements uh, on your online course website. But of course, we're not going to play around with that. And then over here on students, this will show you all your students, which makes it easier for you to manage and see what is going on your site. And uh, over here, we also have our quiz attempts. You can see all your quizzes here and they'll be listed uh, based on your students. And here we have the ad on. So right now we are using the free version of Tutor LMS, but if you want to use the advanced version, this is what you get in the advanced version. So this is what we're going to be talking about in the next video. All right. See you in the next video.